Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 100 Baby Challenge. I thought I was recording, thank goodness I checked, because I was not. But yeah, obviously Nina is aging up and it's part 92 because I completely forgot to say that. I also like to say really quick before we get on with the part that I have four dogs in my room with me because we are doing something with our TVs and it's been such a long day. I don't even want to bother to remember what it's at, like this is actually called. But anyways, we got some guys running around our house trying, well, not trying, doing their job. Um, so, yeah, and why I got stuck with all four dogs, the world may never know, but I did. Lucky me, I'm hoping they don't bark too much. One of them has been very barky, though, so I'm hoping and cross my fingers that she behaves. And I will give her a makeover. I will put her in something just a little more adultish. What is with her hair? Oh, she beat me to it with the hair. Um, Nina's now fully mature, at least some of the time. Adult. She'll ne really need to think about establishing herself in, the, in her career and family life while there is still time. Blah, blah, blah. So, I was reading Romeo and Juliet this morning. And I know that was like hours ago at school. But... I got stuck with the part of Romeo, and it's not like we have to act it out, I just had to read it, but he talks a lot, okay, and this guy talks so fancy, and you know, the old-fashioned fancy English, and which, ugh. so I can't, like, talk today. Ever since reading that this morning, I cannot seem to talk, but I will put Nina in something a little more appropriate of, a, of an adult. I'll try and still keep it with like the edgy look that she already has but just make it a little better than you know her wedges and her shorts and her white leather jacket um so yeah um <coughs> nope <laughs> Lucy hey I'm really hoping that this is not going to be a problem in this part um, so, each kid, each toddler is getting potty trained. Oh, yep, yep, okay, you got her. So, you're holding, oh, you got him, sorry. <laughs> Whoops, oh no, I was hoping we wouldn't be, ugh. Nina, no, Emerald, Nina is having a midlife crisis. Enjoy. Now, since, um, like, I'm normally... When it comes to midlife crisis, um, midlife crisis wishes, I'm sort of, you know, I don't mind promising a few every once in a while, but when it's like, for this challenge, if it's move, uh, no. <laughs> we are not moving. I'm probably not going to complete many wishes for the, her. I don't think I completed any wishes for Jade, and I don't remember if Trinity had one. She probably did. I don't think I completed any wishes for her. So... Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, we need to invite a guy over. I'm not sure if he'll be liking your, uh, your, your old lady bun, because that's honestly what it looks like. Um, that's just my opinion. Who is this? Vanessa. Oh, no. Vanessa aged up. Okay. Yeah. So the sisters should be aging up anytime now. It makes sense. Um, oh, Victor is an old guy. Oh, uh, look at all the kids. All the kids. Nope. Okay. We still... I do not believe we've gotten with Pedro. Not Pedro. Adam. Pedro was the last guy. Yep. No Adam. So. Alright. Holly. You're holding Wendy. So, go potty train Wendy. See, this is what, like, my dog Lucy does. She's the one that's really barky today. She goes up to the door, and, like, the crack at the bottom where the door meets the floor, she'll, like, breathe against it. And you can hear her breathing, and it's really funny. At least in my opinion. So all I hear is... <laughs> I mean, it gets annoying after a while when all, it's, like, all she does, because she you can tell she wants out. 
I don't feel like coming oh you jerk face <laughs> okay if he doesn't come over we'll go to him in a couple minutes if we can't find anyone else nope we've gotten a stein ooh what about oh this is the uh the repair man she's like ah, how dare you I'm an adult All right. Oh no. So Zena, when she's done, you can feed her on the floor. Hoping that it doesn't become too much of a problem just yet with her being hungry and stuff. Uh, actually, really quick. See what are you doing. Shawarma. We're running out of food. You can uh, come watch some TV. You too. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so my religion teacher came back today. I cannot tell you guys how happy I was to see him. Like, my religion teacher, easily my favorite, my my favorite teacher I have ever had. I love him. Like, not in, like, the creepy sense of, like, I have a crush on my teacher. It's so not that way. So, for any of you who might have thought of it like that, it's not. Because my parents tease me about it all the time. And it's really annoying. Um. But. Right. Okay, I don't know. I was like, wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> um. Right. I'm getting so mixed up. Okay. Okay. But he came back today because, um, he, he's been at, like, this military training for, like, the past three weeks. Um. And, like the sub like she I know I've had the sub before and I mean she's not terrible please like she's not terrible but I missed my like regular my religion teacher like so much it wasn't even funny and then like I guess I must be one of the only people that like really missed him because like everyone like stopped listening to him like not even halfway through the class and they just start, you know, talking and doing what they want. And so he just, he keeps talking to those of us who are listening, which is, like, me. And, like, there's, like, two or three other girls and then, like, two of the boys. Two or three of boys. And even then they start to tune out. So there's only, like, me and this other girl listening at the end. And so he, like, he looks around sneakily and then he, sneakily a word? I don't know. But he looks around. And he's watching, and when he sees no one looking, he pulls out his, his desk drawer, and he gives me and the girl both pieces of chocolate. I'm like, yes! I miss you so much. Like, that is not the reason I miss him. I mean, he would give out candy every once in a while, but that was not the reason, but, like, still. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I miss you so much. And I got this big hug, and I just miss him. He made my whole day better. Oh, I miss him so much. I can't stress that enough. Oh, no. Do you not have... Why do you have, like, none of these skills, bro? You're gonna be, like, way behind. Okay, so Denver said he'd come over. You're having this, like, old lady bun is, like... I really just want to take her into create a sim, but like I honestly I don't really have the time to do that right now. Uh, it'll have to wait till later. So we'll just have to deal with her in this part. So. Oh crap! You know what I just realized? Flora and Holly have the same hair. I was wondering if I'd given this hair to another sim. Okay, I'll change it. I'll, I'll, I'll just go ahead and change it. 
I mean, three days. Oh well, I'll just change it. Like I, I was wondering, like, have I given this to another sim? I don't. I feel like I haven't. I have. All right. Yo, Denver. Go greet him. What? I'm sorry, I have a dog under my desk, so I have, like, no feet room right now. And she just started, like, gurring for no reason. I mean, she's even sitting on my air vent. I think that's the reason why she's under my desk. Not that there's, like, nowhere- No! I'm sorry, I'm, like, really trying to not let them bark and be annoying. More annoying than they normally are. Alright. Uh, oh. Just totally kicked the dog. Sorry, George. Um. Lucy. Lucy. Hey. And she's breathing at the door again. I, literally, I swear, that is all you hear. And that's when you know, oh, Lucy's at the door. What? You're the one who's standing at him. Okay, but we aren't friends with this guy, so we can't just hop right into it, so. Oh, that's not what I meant. So I'll just go ahead and cue her up really fairly quickly, but the game is being sort of weird. It has been for the past few days. It's been sort of funky. Manny is now the talented amateur of Rorish Guys. Fun. <laughs> now you wanna watch TV, girl? Why you gotta do that? They're actually... Did I see that one of them was hungry? No? Okay. In that case... Who has done these? I would like to know. This is yours. Alright. Alright. In other words, we got two different sets of quads. That I don't even care anymore. <laughs> um, okay. And Linda is still sleeping. I keep wanting to call her Lindy because uh, if any of you have ever read the book... You just move to new house. Girl, that is not happening. You can keep wishing, but it's not happening. And I just totally whacked my headset. Um. Uh, okay. But, like, it's, oh. The book is called Beastly, I believe. Um. Is it by Alex Flynn? Alex Finn? Something like that. I have. I don't know. Um, but there's a... It's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Um, let's see. It's by... I'm actually looking it up, literally. By Alex Flynn. So, I'm, I will go ahead and I'm going to read the synopsis. Because I can. I mean, why not? Um, it is a retelling of the fairy tale Beauty and the Beast set in modern day New York City from the view of the beast um so actually let's see if I can find a shorter I mean I know it don't get me wrong I know it but is it a series because it says the Kendra Chronicles is there a second one I'll have to look more into it um 
It says, I am the beast. A beast. Not quite wolf or bear, gorilla or dog, but a horrible new creature who walks upright. I am a monster. Do you think I'm talking fairy tales? No way. The place is New York City. This t The time is now. It's no deformity. Uh, oh, we got the prom tonight. I totally forgot. <laughs> okay, let's see. What does Wendy still need to do when she's done? I believe it's walk. Yeah. So... But it's basically... Um, so this guy's name is Kyle Kingsbury. And he is just, you know... His his dad is really rich. I don't actually I don't remember. Either I don't remember or it never actually says what happens to his mom. Oh, um, but like it's Kyle and his dad, and Kyle is like king of the school. You know he dates the pretty girl and he's you know the pretty boy that you know every girl wishes they could date. And just because I can't remember which walker I put her in. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Um, not emerald. But Kyle makes fun of the wrong girl, and she's like, you know, if you continue to be this way, I can't. You know, something terrible will happen to you. And Kyle's just like, yeah, right. Nothing can happen to me. I'm practically untouchable. You know, yada yada yada. But in reality, no, he wakes up and, um, now in the, there is a movie that was remade, I'm just gonna buy four of these, um, and it has Alex Pettifer who plays the character, and then there is Vanessa Hudgens who plays Lindy. Well, Kyle, you know, like I said, he messes with uh, the wrong girl okay and she ba she curses him and he doesn't believe her but then he like wakes up one morning and he finds out that the curse is true and so now he can't go out and you know he can't go out because people will be afraid of him in the book he's actually supposed to be covered with fur and he's supposed to look monstrous but in the in the movie um he has like all these little like pieces of metal on his face and he has all these weird lines um, it's sort of weird. And <laughs> uh, the, the book and the movie are not very similar. Because I watched... I've had the movie longer than I've actually had the book. But I never watched the movie because I wanted to read the book first. So I watched the book... No, I watched the book. I watched the movie after I got home from school because I had finished the book earlier that day. And I just couldn't help it. Like, it was a good movie, but I'm like... But that's different. <laughs> and that's different. That's not how that goes. <laughs> yeah. That's sort of how I am. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's all good. It was it was a good book. It was a good movie. I totally recommend it. But that's why I want to call Linda Lindy. Because I'm pretty sure her name is Linda. But everyone calls her Lindy. I'm hoping that I'm actually thinking of the right story. <laughs> There's a possibility that... Okay, um, wait, Lola, she's tired? Ooh, yikes, I'm actually, so I will put her in the playpen, hopefully that boosts her mood. Yeah, okay. Wendy was just potty trained. But yeah, totally, I totally recommend the book. It's actually... For how good of a book I personally think it was, I feel like it's uh, underrated. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, 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 no. Lucy May. Dude, she isn't my dog, Lucy. She knows when I say Lucy May. That's when she's... Ooh, she better stop. Why can't I click on this? There we go. Because May is her middle name. Lucy May. Lucy May. I call her Miss May sometimes because I can. I treat her middle name like a last name. 
Uh oh, I hear talking. I'll be back in just a second. Hoping. Hoping he doesn't need to come in here, because if he does, he's. The guy is gonna get mauled by the dogs. Um. Yeah, I'm listening. Alright, so. We're probably gonna get stampeded here with all the kids, but. Um. Cross my fingers, the girls don't start barking again. I have added an extra three minutes to my timer. So, and we are now friends. So, uh, we are going to do this. Start being romantic. I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers, we can get pregnant before the part ends. I don't know, though, to be honest. She's going to be really tired, so just so she doesn't start screaming her head off like she's doing. I'm going to bump this up to where she's not tired yet. She will be, but she isn't just yet. We'll have to finish with the learning tomorrow with all the kids talking and stuff. Do I have the gates locked to everyone but my household? I'm just, something I'm just curious. I guess so. Okay. Now there's all the shirt dresses and then there's Linda over here in her, you know, with a big dress. Holly's like, peace out. I am so out of here. They're all going to prom, by the way. Is that your phone ringing? Because if so, it's really annoying. It is her phone. The limo is gonna leave without you guys. If you don't figure it out <laughs> and get your butt in gear. Just saying. There's a kid crying downstairs. I can... Yeah, it is most likely Lola already. A girl, get a grip on yourself. Like, seriously, you are being very annoying right now, to be honest. No, stop. Okay. Oh. There we go. Like, come on. Work with me here. Okay. And she's pretty tired too. So it wouldn't surprise me if she starts crying at one point or another. Oh, that's right. I also put America in a long dress. I sort of forgotten that. A base game dress at that too. Like, oh. I don't think we're going to get pregnant in this part. No, I'm watching my timer countdown. Five, four, three two one and there it went so we will actually we will pick up in the next part because we still gotta get six guys left to be our boyfriend that'll be interesting um we'll see how that goes so i will not get her pregnant off screen this time like i have been doing recently um but yeah, so I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and leave your baby names down below. I will get that old woman bun off of Nina, and I will also fix... Who's this again? Flora. Right, I will fix Flora's hair. So yeah, thank you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!